Picture this, it's a dimly lit evening, and you find yourself nestled in the cozy embrace of your favorite armchair. The flickering glow of your vintage television casts long shadows across the room, and a sense of anticipation hangs heavy in the air. You fumble with the remote control, your fingers dancing over the buttons until, finally, you hear the satisfying click that brings the screen to life. And there it is, The Stranger, the 1946 classic that has etched its way into the annals of cinematic history. As the opening credits roll and the hauntingly beautiful strains of the film's score fill the room, you're transported to a different era, a time when mystery and intrigue reigned supreme on the silver screen. Your first encounter with this cinematic gem was nothing short of enchanting. The plot, thick with suspense, revolves around the pursuit of a fugitive Nazi war criminal, weaving a narrative that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Or perhaps it was the impeccable performances by the talented cast, each character layered with complexity and depth. Memorable moments flood your mind, the chilling revelation, the unexpected twists, and the profound moral dilemmas that left you pondering long after the credits rolled. Now, as we delve into some fascinating random facts about The Stranger, prepare to uncover hidden gems that will deepen your appreciation for this timeless classic. So, let's journey together into the world of cinema history, where each frame is a work of art waiting to be explored. And remember, the story continues. The Stranger, released in 1946 and directed by Orson Welles, is a classic film noir that follows the story of an investigator named Mr. Wilson, portrayed by Edward G. Robinson, who is hot on the trail of a former Nazi fugitive, Franz Kindler, played by Welles himself. The film is notable for being one of the first Hollywood productions to tackle the subject of Nazi war criminals hiding in America after World War II. With its suspenseful plot and atmospheric cinematography, The Stranger showcases Wells' signature cinematic style, marked by striking visuals and shadowy, atmospheric scenes. The film's characters are well-defined, with Edward G. Robinson's determined investigator, and Orson Welles' enigmatic and chilling portrayal of Franz Kindler leaving a lasting impact. Loretta Young also shines as Mary Longstreet, the woman caught in the middle of this cat-and-mouse pursuit. The movie explores themes of post-war paranoia, justice, and the consequences of war in a world still reeling from its aftermath. The Stranger had a significant impact on popular culture by shedding light on the horrors of the Holocaust and the persistence of Nazi ideologies even after the war's end. It added depth to the film noir genre by incorporating political and social commentary into the traditional crime thriller narrative. Orson Welles' direction and performance in The Stranger solidified his reputation as a master filmmaker, and the film remains a compelling and thought-provoking piece of cinema history that continues to be studied and appreciated by audiences today, proving its enduring relevance in the world of film. In the 1946 movie The Stranger, directed by Orson Welles, there was a deleted early sequence that could have added depth to the story. In this scene, Charles Rankin and Mary Longstreet meet in the woods near the town of Harper City. Mary tells Rankin about the town's gothic clock on top of the church, which has a historical connection to her family. She explains that one of her ancestors brought the clock to America by sailing ship. As they walk through the church cemetery, Mary points out the gravestones of her Longstreet ancestors buried there. This deleted scene was significant because it provided insight into the history of the town and Mary's connection to it. However, it was cut by editor Ernest J. Nims, which led to a later scene where Mary walks through the graveyard to confront Rankin, who is hiding out inside the church. In this scene, Mary tells Rankin, I came by our way through the cemetery. No one saw me. Without the earlier scene, this dialogue may have seemed out of place or confusing to viewers. The deletion of this sequence highlights the importance of editing decisions in filmmaking and how they can impact the overall narrative and character development. While the deleted scene may not have been essential to the plot, it would have provided a richer context for the story and Mary's character. In The Stranger, director Orson Welles also included a memorable quote recited by Mr. Wilson. The quote is from Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay titled Compensation and goes as follows. The league between virtue and nature engages all things to assume a hostile front to vice. The beautiful laws and substances of the world persecute and whip the traitor. This quote underscores the theme of moral accountability 
and the idea that wrongdoers cannot escape the consequences of their actions. It adds depth to the film's exploration of justice and the consequences of war crimes. Additionally, the movie features a remarkable long take lasting four minutes and 10 seconds during Rankin's meeting in the forest with Maynike. This continuous shot showcases the technical skill of the filmmaking team and adds tension to the scene as the characters engage in a pivotal conversation. In conclusion, The Stranger is a film that not only tells a suspenseful story, but also incorporates deleted scenes, meaningful quotes, and impressive long takes to enhance its impact. These elements contribute to the film's lasting legacy in the world of cinema, of cinema, of cinema. The 1946 movie The Stranger holds a unique place in film history for several reasons. One notable aspect of its production is the construction of vast New England town exterior sets, including a church with a towering 124 feet clock tower. These impressive sets were built in Hollywood on the back lot of the United Artists Studio, located on Santa Monica BLVD. Interestingly, in some production shots captured by Life magazine, you can spot the circular metal scaffolding of a massive collapsible natural gas storage tank in the background behind some of these sets. Notably, the only such tank near a Hollywood studio was just a block away from United Artists. This highlights the meticulous attention to detail and the effort put into creating authentic looking settings for the film. Another intriguing aspect of The Stranger is the copyright history of the film. Due to the failure of the original copyright holder to renew the film's copyright, it fell into the public domain. This meant that virtually anyone could duplicate and sell a VHS DVD copy of the movie. As a result, many versions of the film available on the market are either severely and usually badly edited, and or of extremely poor quality, having been duplicated from second or third generation copies of the film. This copyright lapse had a lasting impact on the accessibility and quality of the film's various releases. Lastly, The Stranger holds historical significance as the first mainstream American movie to feature footage of Nazi concentration camps following World War II. This portrayal of the grim reality of the concentration camps added a powerful layer of authenticity and poignancy to the film, highlighting the horrors of that era. In conclusion, The Stranger is a film that not only stands out for its compelling narrative, but also for the behind-the-scenes efforts in set construction, its copyright history, and its contribution to documenting a dark chapter in history. These aspects make it a noteworthy piece of cinematic history. 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 In 1946, Orson Welles directed a movie titled The Stranger. While not as iconic as some of Wells' other works, this film stands out for a unique reason. It's the only one directed by Wells that turned a profit upon its original release. Producer Sam Spiegel, under the pseudonym SP, Eagle, brought this film to life. It's worth noting that composer Bronislaw Kaper humorously referred to it as the Sint, Ranger due to Spiegel's pseudonym. Orson Welles was known for his penchant for lengthy exposition scenes. International Pictures recognized this and gave editor Ernest J. Nims the liberty to trim any unnecessary sequences from the film. To Welles' dismay, Nims cut almost 30 minutes from Welles' final version, including 19 minutes from the film's opening. Regrettably, this footage is now lost, even as the original negatives have disappeared. In summary, The Stranger from 1946 was a profitable venture for Orson Welles, even though some of his original content got edited out during post-production, leaving us with a truncated version of his vision. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the enigmatic world of The Stranger from 1946, I invite you to pause and reflect. This timeless masterpiece, directed by the brilliant Orson Welles, weaves a tapestry of suspense, intrigue, and moral dilemmas that continue to resonate with audiences across the ages. As you ponder the intricate web of deception spun by the charismatic character of Franz Kindler, portrayed with chilling authenticity by Welles himself, consider how his pursuit by the relentless investigator Mr. Wilson brilliantly brought to life by Edward G. Robinson, mirrors the eternal battle between good and evil, light and darkness. This film's ability to captivate and haunt the human psyche is nothing short of remarkable. Perhaps you were struck by its haunting cinematography, its haunting score, or the performances that left an indelible mark on your cinematic memory. Maybe it was the film's exploration of post-World War II anxieties, and the moral ambiguity of a world in transition that resonated with you. 
Now, I encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, and insights about The Stranger. What were your favorite moments? How did it make you feel, and has it left a lasting impression on your worldview? Engage with others who have been touched by this cinematic gem and let the discourse flow like the film's intricate plot. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey, for your time and your unwavering interest in the world of film. Your unique perspective and connection to the stranger enrich the collective experience of storytelling. Until we meet again for our next cinematic adventure, remember that the power of film lies not just in what is seen but in the conversations it inspires. Stay curious, stay engaged, and keep those memories of the stranger alive.